Hi everyone, here is my Sanvin CNC 3020T router. I purchased this on Amazon and after following instructions from John Lauer's excellent video, I was able to incorporate a Tiny G version 8 to replace the old parallel port style controller board that shipped with this unit. I originally purchased this unit to mill PCBs and after a bit of trial and error I was able to achieve decent results. More recently, I've begun milling aluminum dies, and with the help of ArtCam, I've been able to achieve very decent results with extremely fine detail using just a couple of router bits. I've been in the process of upgrading this router even further by running new signal lines to accommodate the limit switches and a touch plate. I found that an old USB cable works wonders. It's flexible, and if you use the shield as a ground, it leaves you with four other lines, and luckily there are extra blanks that can be easily popped out of the back of the case. Here is the touch plate that I was able to build. I found an old aluminum stereo knob, and I attached the lead to the side screw, and then I put some blue painter's tape on the bottom so that it wouldn't conduct any signals through my workpiece. By using an alligator clip attached to the bit that I'm zeroing out, I can then use the touch plate widget inside Chili Pepper to execute a touch plate homing cycle. One thing to note about using this stereo knob was I had to actually grind off the surface because there was some sort of plastic coating on the surface of the knob that prevented contact from occurring. With a little bit of sandpaper and some patience, I was able to remove that coating, and after that, the knob works very well as a touch plate. 